snap out of the matrix. You are way too stuck in the matrix. Your consciousness has been bound up with matter and that's why things are stuck. Let me take you inside the studio because it's a little hot. There are several ways to break out of the matrix. I know it sounds cliche, but it's really the fastest route out of the matrix. You guessed it, love. Living a life where you're in the flow of love. Now, the other ways are through studying mathematics. We are living in a shadow of a higher dimension. In other words, we think this is all real and we are stuck on it that it's real, but it's really not that real. Take a look around your room. What do you see? You see some walls, a collection of objects, my face on your screen. However, if you look slower, you look deeper at any given object, you're gonna find something strange. Give this a try. If you stare at an object for even a couple of minutes, what seems still and solid suddenly becomes considerably more wavy, almost vibrant. Maybe it's just a trick of the senses, you say, but science too tells us that nothing is really still. The atoms that make up objects are vibrating. And according to the most advanced imaging technology, cells themselves are like these cosmic flowing ecosystems. Great philosophers and contemplatives say the same things. To quote Professor Eric Steinhardt, who is paraphrasing the great Neoplatonic philosopher Plotinus, every reality is a lie. It is a deceptive simulation. Of course, here we're just talking about the physical world, but what about everything else that we hold to be important? Our ideas, our religion, our political orientation, your philosophical beliefs, are those real? By what standards? Is anything real? And if so, what does it mean for ourself, our own psycho-spiritual self, your own ability to make sense of reality, to find a purpose in life. These are real questions. Some would argue that you should just leave questions like this alone. I disagree. I just can't. I'm a, a lover of wisdom, a seeker of the truth, and I know that you are too if you're watching this video. So what is reality? What is real? Do we live in something akin to a simulation or a matrix? On a related note, what is truth? What is knowledge? There's definitely no shortage of supposed answer to these questions out there. But in decades of searching, there's one way of seeing that I really believe shines a light on questions like this. A way of seeing that really does cut through the illusion and will forever transform your impression of reality and your life. The ancient Greek philosopher Plato spoke about the cave. This is the gateway to opening and awakening from the matrix. It is a multi-layered allegory. It represents the simulation scenario. For those of you who do already know the cave allegory, there are some massive esoteric insights that you've probably never heard before. But first, the basics. The Republic describes uh, Socrates, who is telling us, or specifically in the story Glaucon, Plato's brother, he speaks to him about this cave that we are prisoners of. He said to imagine 
a group of people who have spent their entire lives chained inside a dark cave. In front of them is a wall and behind them is a fire. Objects passing in front of the fire are cast upon the wall, the shadows, and people believe in these shadows as real things. They believe it is the only reality. One day a person breaks free and climbs up out of the cave into the sunlight. At first the brightness is blinding, overwhelming, and the new world confuses him and frightens him. Slowly, though, his eyes adjust and he starts to see and understand things as he never knew they existed. And when he returns to the cave to share his discovery with the rest of the prisoners, the others don't believe him. They don't believe in the reality. They only believe in the reality of the shadows because it's the only one they've ever known. The idea of a world outside the cave seems impossible. Plato's tale is a metaphor about knowledge and perception. It suggests that we often see a only one shadow of a reality. And through education and philosophy, questioning and mathematics, we can discover a deeper understanding of the world around us. And now for part two of this meditation, where we will be going deeper to really reprogram your subconscious mind for optimum result. This longer extended version is only available to members of my YouTube channel. And I look forward to reading your comments. Please like and share with your friends on social media. Send me your comments, your questions, and most of all, become a member of my YouTube channel.